if I'm not having sex, I'm masturbating. So one th- one of these things need to happen. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> in a one, in a two, in a three. Welcome everybody to episode. Uh, this is episode four. Episode four of Recoil, and I, my name is Mr. Red. And if you do not know that by now, then may God bless your soul. And as usual, we have our special guest here. Uh, well, our special hostess by the name of Ricky Chop, Sheck by Zam, and a special guest. But I will never take their intro because I'll never be as cool as they are, as I always love to say. So I won't take the show from them. So my good host can introduce themselves. I'd be more than happy to allow that. Let me get up out of my chair here. Okay, Ricky Chops is in the building. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies? We are doing this for the fourth time. I can't believe it. We're, we're, we're so consistent. We're like the Fantastic Four. Yeah, without that brick guy, Shax. Um, I'm Shax, and my intro didn't really get interrupted this time around, so (laughs) I'm mighty fine of that. So, well, a little bit about me. I'm fat. I love these fruit snacks that I'm about to munch on just a second with a muted mic. Um, I use Axe deodorant, and I like Diet Coke now. (laughs) All right. Well, all right. Princess Murder. <laughs> this Murder. is you. Uh, okay, um, I'm Princess Murder. Pretty Princess Murder is my channel. I am a female. <laughs> yes, I. I, I tell. In the words of Ricky <laughs> Chops, I, this is d- indeed a female. This is not a high pitched boy. I'm not a squeaker, I, I assure you. you. <laughs> so, beginning with this lovely podcast that we love to call Recoil, we'd like to touch base on something we talked about previously, but. People would really, we, we wouldn't allow time for people to finish this. And now, two weeks later, the question is asked again for campaign mode. Campaign. Who beat the campaign? I beat it personally when the game first came out overnight. Ricky Chops, damn it. Did you, did you beat it? Man, no, man. I'm like, I'm on a second level or whatever it is. I, I just play, I mean, I don't get enough of a, I, I don't know, time to play the uh, multiplayer as it is. So, I, campaign, screw that. Psh, shit. I want to go shoot some people. I'm not really one for campaign on any game. I've The only campaign that I've ever actually finished and done several times is Halo 3 on the original Xbox. So, I've, I'm not one for campaigns at all. Oh, and Red Dead Redemption. I didn't finish oh, yeah. it. There you go. There you go. Red Dead <laughs> the Red Dead Redemption That's Zombie right Pack. There. Red Dead Redemption Zombie Pack is like my favorite oh. campaign that I've ever played, and I hate campaign mode. Like I, I want to get online and talk shit and kill people. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> yeah, you really spend hours just goofing around in multiplayer in Red Dead Redemption. Oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> I swear, Red Dead Redemption Zombie zombie whatever pack was by far the funnest thing. I just wish I played more multiplayer on that because that is the funnest multiplayer thing I've ever played. That <laughs> Battlefield and Black Ops. Holy crud. Just like seriously. Freaking World of Warcraft getting on that, is <laughs> getting on that game can. Easy with that World of Warcraft talk. <laughs> Easy with that, okay? That's where you're, you're bringing back some, some terrible flashbacks. That's a touchy <laughs> subject. Yeah. Me. That game. That's- Oh man, I'm kind of like glad that my Mac would not download the demo because I know that 10 day trial, I would have been on that for 10 days straight. <laughs> 10 days plus. Same here. I even tried it back in the day. <laughs> I would have just got some adult ago. diapers and sat there and I would have just sat there and <laughs> played that damn trial. Adult diapers. I avoided that game like the plague. I heard, it, yeah, I, I heard too many things. That <laughs> I did not want. I did not want my life to be sucked up by Hark Hawthorn, my my guild leader, and, and some guy named Little Timmy, who's probably a thirty eight year old man, who sits there and grinds all day. I couldn't do it. Yeah, mo- most of most of the female players, supposedly like the female avatars in the game, are actually played by middle aged men. That's that's the stereotype, and it's a stereotype for a reason. So they're that smart. Makes sense to me, so. That's how you hustle. You gotta hustle those preteens. They don't know any better. They, they got a you got a fresh credit card. People. They're trying to get their <laughs> credit up, so they're using their credit card on game. You got some twenty year old elftress who says she needs a, a pair of paladin boots. All you gotta do is just start shaking that ass and saying, 
Hey, I need some boots. <laughs> Card swiped. He's got his you stuff. You want to quest with me? Like. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's basically that right there. That's how it happens. His name magically changes from Christina to Christopher. <laughs> Boys, but uh, let's I don't and let's never bring up that game in a podcast ever, even though <laughs> even though it'll probably happen next week. But I don't know. Okay, I think we should talk about the one thing. I, I mean, I don't know how much fans of y'all are of this, but what about what about the NFL and football? You guys don't have any teams this year? Ooh. No. Ooh. Are you kidding? Okay. No? No. no. Now, if we talked about the uh, ice skating championships, I might. No, I'm just kidding. No, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to let you guys know right here and right now, I do not watch any any sports you know, whatsoever except except for the only true last American sport, and that's professional wrestling right there. <laughs> like the MMA stuff? or No, no. Just wrestling? I love Ricky. watching that MMA stuff. Oh my god, those no, men no. with their bodies and the, the sweat and the uh. You're not. You're not listening. Professional <laughs> wrestling <laughs> with The Rock, Hulk Hogan, all those people. This fool got Ric Flair as his. <laughs> Ric Flair is the man. Uh, Ric Flair is. is the man. Hey, you, let me tell you a story. I actually Stone met Cold, Stone Cold Steve Austin was what made it good. That's what I'm just gonna say here. Once he left, I was gone. <laughs> I actually met Ric Flair in uh, in Virginia, and I have a picture. Let me, you know what? I'm gonna try and upload it to the uh, this Skype conversation. But uh, just yeah, I met the man. He is uh, he's one suave dude. I'm telling you, I thought he was just gonna show up to the event in, like you know a t-shirt and some jeans. No, no, he showed up in a in a damn business suit and some shiny shoes. It was great. If, if you grew up with WCW. You seen some real wrestling, NWO, the Wolf Pack. You haven't lived until you seen Ric Flair have a heart attack in the middle of the ring. Uh, I saw that. Yes, I, I, I saw I'll never, that live. I'll never forget that. Oh, you was there? You well, I wasn't there. No, I mean I saw it while it was airing, but I was oh. like, "What the hell is going on?" I, I remember that to this day. The guy just started bouncing from ropes, saying, "Woo." Woo, it's over and over. Woo, and then all of a sudden he just starts panting and panting, and then he just kneels Boy, over. That sounds really hot. Just Mr. gonna say that. <laughs> Mr. Red, look, if, if you're gonna woo, you gotta do it right, man. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, yes. I will show you how to woo. Just. <clears throat> Hold on, I need to record this. I need yeah, to I'm gonna be using this later. Live. Yeah, oh my God. it's my sound clips. <clears throat> Get the soundboard ready, gentlemen. Oh, get another one. <laughs> the first one. I need. To, I need to clean. Okay. Okay. I, I got. I got to mention this. What if your girl? <laughs> what if your girl was about nine? Right before she did that, she was just like, "Woo!" <laughs> oh, would, would you? Would you keep going with it, or would you yes. stop? I'd call that it that the just, Ric Flair effect. That just lets me know I'm doing the job right. <laughs> That's satisfaction I, I guaranteed. I mean, if I was going down on somebody and they started going, woo, I'd be like, okay, we need to stop. Take me home. I'm out of here. Peace <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm not messing around with no screaming like that. You probably just he saw 300. Down down. Like, right. He's excited. He's really excited. If he's that excited, then, I mean, there's something wrong with Danny. Probably is something wrong. I mean, seriously. Like, he could be wooing because, yeah, you got her to go down and I have AIDS. Woo! Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'd I'd be concerned. I'd start thinking like, okay, did we share a drink or, uh, you know, <laughs> I'd get creeped out. Uh, I I I'd think to myself, I'd be like, pause. Mmm. <laughs> there, but then again, I am so no. I'm not gonna say that. Whatever. Don't, don't embarrass yourself. I didn't embarrass myself. Don't do it, I, ladies and gentlemen. I want. I just want to just say this now. No. Use a condom. That's Use a, a condom. That's a of this show, but, you you will prevent you will prevent birth such as me. <laughs> okay. I guarantee oh. this. I myself do not use condoms because you know I like the full, full full feeling. But you you must use it. I enjoy the feeling. I'm Mr. Red. I'm allowed to do that. I like satisfaction guaranteed. I live for the day. <laughs> I don't know if tomorrow's guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> this is like 
Yeah, also, don't know if an STD is guaranteed, so I'm ju just saying. I don't know. I, I, I'd like to have STDs like Pokemon cards. Oh, that ain't <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> That's not right. Kids, I'm definitely just kidding. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't put my name behind there. Don't call Mr. Red that you have herpes. Because like, not only will I not care, <laughs> but I'll make sure I never I'm slept over you. I'm recording <laughs> this and putting it on the internet. It's done. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that'd okay. be a good that'd be a good topic right there. I think we need to move from the sexual topic before I start telling my sex life stories. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta mention this. How would you make a homemade con? Shax. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll tell you mine right here. Get some duct tape. Shax, you're getting excited. Clean eggs. Shax. A whole bunch of Vaseline. Whoa, okay, I missed what you guys are talking about. Like, are you making a dildo, or? <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. Like... Uh, apparently, Shaxx is too poor to buy a real condom, so he has to make his own. <laughs> Isn't he, like, 12 anyways? Like, I'm not going to be using oh, condoms. No, I'm eight. Critical hit. <laughs> I need a button for that. I need no, a freaking button. Jack. I'm just kidding. I know. It's all oh. good. Oh, if you're younger than me, I call you 12. It's just something that I do. Yeah, I call everyone kid myself, even though I'm <laughs> young and fresh. I'm ripe. It's all oh. fun and games until you prefer his anal sex. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole mood just changes. Hey, then baby. Like, uh, you know what? I think I left the stove on. <laughs> <laughs> think about the anals. <laughs> about that. <laughs> Speaking of anal, have you guys uh, seen Machete? Yes. <laughs> Speaking of yes. anal. Machete, 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 machete. That movie was fucking so ridiculous and over the top. I, it's, I love it. I want to get it on Blu-ray. My best I Ricky Chops. Oh my God. Go ahead. <laughs> one, at, one at a time. I'm the black guy. I can wait. <laughs> well, I was just going to say that I had the bootleg and uh, I put it in my Xbox to play it and it started playing and I wasn't sure if it was the right movie because it looked so fake. So I, I ended up stopping it, and I was telling my friend about it. And he's like, no, no, no. That's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. You guys ever seen uh, Grindhouse? Crack yeah, house? yeah, yeah. Grindhouse, yeah. The 2006, uh, what, is, what was it, Quentin uh, Tarantino yeah. and Robert Rodriguez? Yeah. Double feature. Well, in that, well, Princess Murder, in that movie, <laughs> They have they they're trying to I guess recreate some uh, you know the seventies theater exploitation feel and ambiance or whatever. So they have like fake you know fake trailers for fake movies and Machete was one of them. Uh, but so that, you know they decided to actually film and make that movie, which in the end turned out to be badass. So mm -hmm. I'm really gonna have to watch it. Like Michelle Rodriguez in that movie. Like I I saw the trailer in the movie theater and I was like jizz, just jizz. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. Yeah, she, yeah. she normally she normally she has kind of, normally she has kind of a dog face to me, but uh, she, she, she's no, always yeah, she, has, she looks pretty <laughs> raunchy in some like like in Lost. She looks pretty like full dyke, I guess you could say. But like when she puts on some makeup or like in Machete when she had like the leather and stuff, I'm like, girl, how you doing? Like, oh my goodness. Mm. Well, I, I got a question to ask. Was this a recent movie or what? It recently came out in DVD slash Blu-ray this past right. Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I demand that not only you watch it, but you enjoy it. Nice. You must enjoy it. That movie, first, first of all, Danny Trejo is in that movie. That man has never led, he's never been the main character of a movie ever, and he killed uh, it. Yeah, he's always he's always been like the the you know obviously Mexican bad guy or the thug or whatever, but and and you know what he never smiles either. The dude never smiles. I can't remember a single movie where he's actually uh, you know even broken a sneer or, or anything or a smirk, you know. Wow, I, I, I got actually one more. Had to, I actually had to think about that. <laughs> it's like Is this huh. a movie where like some uh, Hispanic slash Mexican guys like on a really like nice. Harley or something. There's like chain guns on the side of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to oh, see that. Oh yes. <laughs> I gotta see that. What what, what is it about <laughs> exactly? Because one of y'all needs to do a movie review on this. <laughs> it's it's basically he's like a he used to be a federale in Mexico and they kill his family 
or whatever. Um, some drug, some drug lord played by Steven Seagal, by the way. Steven so, freaking Seagal. Yeah. All right, that movie's gonna be epic. <laughs> the man who will bear you, bear you, just fucking palm thrust you in the throat. That guy, yeah, Steven Seagal. He uh, he's like a drug cartel lord or whatever you want to call it, and he kills his family. And a couple of years later, uh, we find Machete in uh, what was it? Ca- California, right? Was it L.A.? No, oh, he was in Mexico, not Mexico, Texas. Texas, I yeah, I can't remember, man. But, <laughs> I can't remember. But uh, he finds himself like aiding this um, this uh, Michelle Rodriguez, who's like the leader of some sort of Mexican re- revolution, you know, to get him all across uh, the border or whatever. I don't remember too too much about that part. But uh, like Robert De Niro's in it. Uh, who else? The guy from uh, Miami Vice. Oh, Don Johnson. Yeah. Yes. And they and they they have like this whole gimmick where they're trying to keep the illegals out, and it's just it's funny and over the top, and people will enjoy it if you you know have any sort of uh, perception. So well, shit, they sleeps with four women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I counted too, man. I was I was I was starting to get worried because uh, you know I was running out of fingers. <laughs> oh my god! It, any person that has their own theme song automatically is epic win. Automatically, <laughs> I demand you go go and YouTube Machete. His theme song, you will hear it, and you will understand. And I guarantee you, when you put the movie in, it's going to look fake, but just keep watching it. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the first scene is, like, really grainy. Like, you don't even know exactly what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that's that's supposedly the uh, the grindhouse feel or whatever. That's um, that's how the movies were in the 70s, you know, really shitty. <laughs> so... <clears throat> So, yeah. But yeah, that movie's great, man. So here's something new that Shaq's proposed we talk about today. Our young, our whippersnapper. Shoot. Fast food. <laughs> what about it? Let us divulge. Let us, let us be blessed by your intelligence. What, what, fast food. What do you want us to know? I didn't, I didn't actually think we were going to do this. No, we're uh, doing it. Now. We're live. This, this is like a 30-second topic. You better I just know. go in. You better Wait. enjoy this. All right, I'm, I'm just going to say this right now. Burger King versus Taco Bell. How Taco Bell. the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How, how do you Wait, is, that, just, is, that, just, is that an option? Just, Am I supposed to pick one? or? Yeah, is that yes, an option? Let's, let's just go with that, oh. all right? Because I'm just okay. going to have to go with the Whopper is pretty dang close to the freaking, what's it called? Crunchwrap Supreme. I'm I'm gonna have to go with Taco Wait, Bell. Wait, you realize that a Crunchwrap Supreme is that is a taco basically, and you're comparing a Whopper, which is a hamburger. Yes, exactly. That that was my that was my reasoning. Shut up. You Shut take up two things that I enjoy when I am drunk. Do you know what it's like to come from a party <laughs> with only five dollars left in your pocket? <laughs> I, you spent fifteen on overpriced drinks in the club. Right. There's only. There's only two fast food places open within distance. My name is McDonald's. That place tastes like AIDS. Oh, God. <laughs> and then you have a choice of Taco Bell or Burger King. My choice. You can get five double cheesy beefy burritos for 99 cents or you can get a double cheeseburger. Five of them. What is your choice? But you want a soda, too, and fries. Fries soak up a lot of alcohol. So I usually go to Burger King, but if I'm feeling <laughs> saucy, I will go to Taco Bell, awesome. and I will get me a taco. I will get okay, me one of what those. What about Wendy's versus Jack in the Box? Because Wendy's has the best dollar menu, but Jack in the Box has those 50-cent tacos. I don't, even have, has tacos? The I don't even have Jack in the Box. I Jack like in the Box is like Kendall's or whatever that place was dang called. What? I, yeah, I heard of Jack in the Crystals. Box, but I've never actually been there. Oh, Jack, my God. Jack in the Box needs to expand to Virginia. Right Dude, now. Jack in the Box is actually, they've got a Southwest chicken salad that is to die for. Have you guys seen the, um, the, that wrap, that fast food drive through wrap? No. No. Oh, what? That oh, wait, wait, wait. wait I need a double cheeseburger and hold the lettuce. Don't yes. That one? Yes, that that's one's it. amazing. Everyone's Oh, my that. God. And then at the end, the guy actually got it all and he's like, grilled the crispy. And he's like, what? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, you ordered the this, but do you want your chicken grilled or crispy? I'm like, damn, she's a boss. She can keep up. <laughs> <Swear> <laughs> oh my does anyone God. else? Does 
Does anyone else feel like a fat ass for somehow expanding on this food topic? Like, I no, I, I actually I really want to talk not. about the topic of food right now. <laughs> I don't eat in... a lot of fast food though, because Neither living in I. California and having like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and shit like that, like my my kitchen is maybe about ninety eight percent organic, just completely. So if I eat a fast food, it's rare. Oh, so you can cook. I'm a woman. It comes with the boobs. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Don't don't say <laughs> that. Once you enter college, I, I, I met many people in college who I thought of soon who can cook, but who can even make a bowl of cereal without burning it. I don't know how that happens, but it does. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> but, but speaking for myself, I have no problem talking about fast food. Fast food has made me survive in college. It has made me survive, not only just from the drunk days, from from the days I just cannot cook and all that. Now, when you eat in excess, you know, that that's that's good for you, too. I don't care. You can eat it all day and every day. You're supporting the business that I go eat at occasionally. I mean, I thought, I thought all we were supposed to eat was, like, sandwiches and uh, ramen noodles, uh, mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, the hell with some that. Some grapes, some fruit. I don't know. The hell with that. I'm trying to eat greasy. You, you seen that KFC <laughs> burger? Every Friday. <laughs> You seen that KFC burger with two chicken patties? No, I've oh, not that ate that. So disgusting. You need to God. eat that. <laughs> I would not eat that. That, that oh. burger, wow, over the top. Really I recommend weird. you that you eat that. And you want to know why? Like somebody, you, you just, just like, somebody in the back kitchen was just like so stoned off their mind. They're like, you know what sounds good, man? Like, <laughs> at least you check in and, like, put a piece of bread on that. I'm like, oh, my God. We call, like, <laughs> that, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> that actually does sound like that. <laughs> you can make a song about that. that thing is Two pieces of chicken. Put some cheese behind it. <laughs> Stack it together. A big smoke. I know how to eat. I had to get some auto-tune in there. <laughs> Max Red. got auto tune on it, but it's like not yeah. good. Dude, I have this iPhone it. app, um, my T Pain, and it like auto tunes your voice. I am so gonna make a rap about that chicken sandwich double whatever thing. <laughs> I am gonna do it. <laughs> I'll get some hits. <laughs> oh, that is hilarity. Yeah, but that's it. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Oh, <clears throat> I was gonna say, I recommend that sandwich to everyone. <laughs> Not because of its delicious qualities, but because after one whole sandwich, you will have enough calories, not only for the day, <laughs> possibly the weekend, the month included. Oh, God. <laughs> that thing is ridiculous, man. I, I saw a commercial for that with my wife, and we had to, like, both stop in our tracks from whatever we were doing and look at each other. And we're like, is this real? Like, is this <laughs> parody or something? What is this? But uh, only Machete eats those sandwiches. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just <laughs> eats four of those for breakfast. That shit puts hair on your chest. <laughs> not even second breakfast, not counting it. Uh, that puts hair on your tongue. <laughs> that thing puts chest on your hair. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. All right. So, All right, so it puts chest on your hair and hair on your tongue. That's, that's <laughs> well, technically, there's already hair on your tongue. Those are oh, not really? hair. That's like follicles. You just had to be specific. I couldn't sound cool for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dr. Red. I have a PhD. I don't know what it's in, but we're going to find out later. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's not uh, lingual, sublingual stuff. <laughs> well, that's beneath the tongue, I guess, technically. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, <clears throat> I digress. I digress. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> disappointments what's been the the sad face of last year that we all just feel sad about ricky chops you're the man you go first go ahead i, I just saw your rick flair picture i had to i had to do it <laughs> um you know what i can't i can't uh, shit i don't know i i, I would have to say uh, and i i'm going i don't know man this is i, I really don't want to say this but it's the only thing that's come to mind black ops I'm a little disappointed with Black Ops. I'm not gonna lie, and specifically, um, I, and we've gone over this a whole bunch of times. Mm -hmm. just, just the the hit detection and the lag. I'm I'm a little disappointed with that. 
you know, uh, Trey Arcs had what two, two, three years to do something. I don't know. I mean, why is it that Infinity Ward can get, you know, they can get the hit detection and the the lag, you know, the lag is obviously not as bad as a Trey Arc game. Um, mm -hmm. Can why can't they get that right? Like, and then Trey Arc, why can't they get that right? You know what I mean? If they could sort of meet somewhere in the middle, it'd be the perfect game. But um, I don't know. That that's got me really disappointed. It's not so. really the hit detection. This is the same in every other Call of Duty. Uh, not every, uh, not every other Call of Duty game, but um, in um, World at War, you just have to lead up your shots a lot differently. That's what I found out. Ever since I've been trying that more, I've been getting my shots more inaccurate. Like yeah, but you shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. I, mean, I agree with Ricky. Like I was looking forward to Black Ops. Like I had that shit on reservation the day I found out it was coming out. I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. And when it finally came out, and just the, for the first night it came out, I was just completely disappointed because the, the servers, like, you could not get a game. You had to sit in a lobby for a half hour, and then your party would break, and that, that was a big deal breaker for me. Like, that, that was really frustrating. But then they fixed it. But, you know, I've got to give it to Treyarch because they have been putting patches out. They have been working on it. So it's not like... You know, like with Modern Warfare 2, the noob tubes, that's a good game. I'll go back to play Modern Warfare 2. It's just like the noob tubes and the bullshit still with, I mean, every other game. But Treyarch, you can tell like with all the patches. That's basically yep. what I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. They're actually putting effort toward fixing their game. And so you have to commend them for that. <clears throat> yeah, I, I agree with that. This, I, I mean, with Black Ops, I'm sort of feeling like, um, you know, if I didn't play... The other day, I actually... I actually went back to Call of Duty 4 and um, I played with uh, her for a minute. Um, I went to Call of Duty 4 just because Black Ops, it, it was kind of, I don't know, ho-hum. You know, it was kind of, uh, it was there. It's a Call of Duty. It's a new Call of Duty, but it's not the one I want to play right now. And um, uh, I went back to COD 4, had had one of the worst rage sessions I've ever had. Everybody <laughs> who plays that game now is still playing that game is a quick scope. Snipers. Yep. <laughs> That's it. I I got killed by this one guy who I mean he, he it was just I went I think what was it like seven and thirty two because this guy just, damn yeah this guy just kept quick scoping the <clears throat> shit I, I felt I don't know I felt emasculated <laughs> let's, just, <laughs> let's just put it like that man huh. mm. well, I think this has already been uh, discussed but I don't know. What really? What What do you think is a better game, Black Ops or Modern Warfare Two? Uh, my personal opinion, man. Uh, I would say I would say Black Ops just because lately I haven't been raging. Like I've never I've never raged in Black Ops as bad as, as bad as I did in Modern Warfare Two. So that's really it, it, you know if I'm not having fun with the game, then it's to me it's not a good game. And Modern Warfare Two towards the end it got to that point where it was like. You know, I went I went a whole week without playing it, and I did, didn't start to feel, you know, like I was jonesing or anything. You know what I mean? Hmm. So, so I would say Black Ops, personally. Well, you, you should see my golf club, Mr. Zam, sitting in the corner of my room. Because me and him and uh, Modern Warfare 2 had a little chat. Just about a week before Just Black Ops came out. Black... Who, whose mic is that? Do you guys hear that? I have no yeah. idea. Shax, is your, is your shit messing up again? Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, it is. Wow. Yeah, it is. Oh, is the robot back? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hold up, hold up. I, I gotta sing a song. If you, if you wanna make me a sandwich, gotta have that meat and cheese, lettuce and tomato. Shax, I can't hear a word you're saying. It just sounds like a robot farting. <laughs> Shax, I think it might be time for, for you to take a break. <laughs> and with that being said, on um, Prince's murder, um, what's your disappointments for 2010? Wait, what? What happened? Oh, she's on hold. Oh. <clears throat> well, um, Yes. Yes. I'm not sure what's going on right now. I apologize. God, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. technology. 
guys right. can hear me, right? There's yeah. nothing ever right about this damn thing. We can hear you just fine. I mean, how, Dude, how's okay. my mic sound? <laughs> Dude, it sounds yeah. better. That's the best thing about recoil. We can just play on words. We go, we go to recoil all the time. Little hiccups, but we stay on target. We get the kill. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of, well, let me just throw this. No, I'll throw it in later. Don't worry about. It. We'll throw it in later. 2010 disappointments. Princess Murder. I'm pointing at you. I know you can't see, it, but I'm pointing at the question mark because I don't officially have you as a friend on Skype. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, I'm gonna have to agree with the Black Ops thing. You know, there's like a whole lot of things that I could uh, go through, like, uh, or not go through, but you know what I mean. Uh, so is it like gaming or is anything. it like, like celebrities or just in my personal life? or Anything that you do, it could be like a disappointment for that last dump you had. Like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, Mr. Red, girls don't do that. Girls do that. <laughs> oh, that's right. They don't. No, 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 girls no, do that, but they go into some it. secret room that no one knows about. <laughs> no, it just doesn't happen. It's just, uh, well, anyways. So, I mean, uh, I guess a couple of disappointments I'd have to have are with uh, guys, honestly. Uh-oh. <laughs> what did I it, it's just, like, guys get so creepy sometimes. And I'm really having, like, I'll meet some really nice guys, but I have no, I have nothing in common with them because they don't play video games. And that's, like, the only thing that I have to base off of my likes. So, if I meet a guy... And I'm like, hey, do you game? He's like, yeah, I play Call of Duty and whatever. And I'm like, oh, so what prestige are you? You know, what's your favorite gun? What's your favorite class? What, what about the perks? What do you think of Black Ops? And he'll go, well, I'm not that into video games. <laughs> and I'm like, that's, I don't know, because I want a video game guy. But believe it or not, it's kind of hard to find. Oh. So I guess, <clears throat> Just go to your I love, being, I love being single. I don't know. No responsibilities Single in it. Life. Single life. Oh wait, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Married life. <laughs> Maybe your standards are too high. What if they're all into that skateboarding and freaking? Yeah, I actually. Talk about think... Outside the house. Ugh. I guess my standards are a little bit high, but I'm not gonna settle for. I mean, you're just... a girl, so I can't blame you. <laughs> I don't know. It's like with these guys that I've dated, I'm like I could do better, but I, I don't know. That's that's a disappointment for me. In 2010, was the guys this disappointing? You know. <laughs> don't settle. Don't settle. Yeah, don't settle for anything. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm I, only 18. Like I, I'm not about to get all right. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Wait, like wait, like I don't know, 15, 20 years <laughs> before you even look for a boyfriend. Just. Just, yeah. I mean, I'm having fun now. Like, I mean, I don't know how, how old Mr. Red is, but. You don't want to know. <laughs> Mr. Red oh, was one. Mr. I'm old. Well, I mean, like, I, I'm an 18 year old girl living in LA. Like, just, that's pretty much it. And, and I'm not an ugly girl, 18. You know what? You already know what's going to happen with that scenario. Uh, no, 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 explain it to me, Mr. Chops. Let, let's hear it. Say what? Let's hear it. What's the scenario? 18-year-old girl in L.A. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> I mean, L.A. is like, at least the, the image that I have in my mind, it's like, it's sort of like Miami. I mean, you guys got palm trees, too. And you, you got <laughs> fucking, you're right next to the water and shit. You got beaches right there. It's, you're going to have a good time. You're going to party. You're exactly. going to meet a lot of people, and you're just going to socialize, and it's, you're going to have a crazy good time, so... Exactly. Mm -hmm. why, why disrupt that with commitment? You know? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I went to Georgia for a Christmas, and people over there, it's just like there's nothing to do because everything's so damn far away. Like, I could go to the beach right now. I could go hang out at a bonfire 15 minutes away, if that. Bonfire. <laughs> you know, like, I could, yeah, bonfire. I could even go to a club downtown. Like, and that's 15 minutes away. Everything is just within reach, and there's so much stuff to do. It's like I, I couldn't imagine growing up in like Georgia. That I would have died. Like that's so boring, especially with my personality. Yeah. I would have gotten really bored. I've I've driven through some towns in Georgia, and it's like you know you 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 blink you blink and you miss them, and it, I'm, I'm like how do people how do people especially you know young people grow up in towns like this? Like what what is there to do around here? 
Yeah, it's like it's not like you can sneak out. Like, where are you going to get eaten by a bear or something? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I would be scared shitless. Yeah, it's, that makes a like, good topic. Like, eating how? Bears? Getting no, <laughs> no, like location. Getting, <laughs> getting eaten by bears. Here's a topic. Here's a here's what we're going <laughs> to say about it. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good time to me. I don't know. It would make a good documentary. <laughs> <laughs> but no. I once was bitten by a bear. <laughs> but, um, yeah, growing up in a small town, I, you know, I grew up in Miami or whatever, and there was always something to do there. Um, but even though I, I was, I've never been, like, the type of the type of person to party and whatnot, I was always into books and uh, obviously creating stuff and just being creative or whatnot. But, um uh, oh. So I'm guessing that's when you were ugly. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Yes. You come. Yes. You know Rob. Don't say that. Uh, I had bad skin. He wore tuxedos to preschool. Come on. <laughs> the teachers told him to sit down. He's like, no, I will not. <laughs> I'm still no, sit not, down. No, actually. <laughs> this is revolution, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm standing up right now, actually. So. Mr. Red, are you still there? Oh, I'm still there. I was just div- I was just divulging in this whole conversation of bears in California. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna say <laughs> this right here. Down here in North Carolina, there ain't nothing to do. No, I mean <laughs> I, I, I live like right on the coast. I go to the beach, but I don't like going to the beach because I don't like to swim. I don't Wait, like there, the jellyfish either. There's <laughs> nothing to do in North Carolina. Bullshit. I I I, I, I refuse you know, to believe Wings that. Wings of Redemption. Um, FPS Kyle, Woody's Gamer Tag. I mean, seriously, those are all Carolina people. I'm just gonna say it's right here. We, well, oh, there really people. must not be anything to do over there. <laughs> I mean, seriously, just the beach, movies, um, and skate or something. I don't <clears> skate. You gotta go out and look for it, man. Cause uh, I mean, it's not a bad, it's not a bad area. I don't think. No. It's not like you live in Ohio. No, it's, it's fairly <laughs> decent down here. I, I like it, but. It's just because I live here. Plus, I mean, you're you're like you're like almost at you're you're at the epicenter of like uh, a lot of American uh, history and culture. But I don't know if you're into that. You're probably not. But <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I I, I kind of I dig it. Like, there's a lot of uh, in this area. There's a lot of like Civil War battlegrounds, and it's crazy to think that you know, all all those years ago, there there were 19 year olds dying on these fields. It's just uh, crazy to me. But. Uh, that's that's a somber topic. Let's move on, shall we? Please. Yes. Oh yeah, I, I definitely forgot what we were talking about. Oh yeah, my disappointment. I, I was sitting here actually trying to think of something, and I guess since all this gaming talk talked of, all I could think was pretty much Black Ops. My my only disappointment is, man, Black Ops is freaking boring, man. I don't, See, I don't, do, don't want to play that game. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Like, what, what about it makes it boring? Like, is I, it? Because kill streaks don't build. Yeah, I think no. I don't have a problem with kill streaks not building up. Because you know, I, I always get my kills, and that's no problem. It's just the fact that once I get them, they're not worth anything unless I'm using like UAVs and blackbirds. Because there's no reward for anything. And it's just like if I play with a group of random people, I'm either carrying the team or I'm just gonna literally destroy the other team. I think I. Whoa. I think what is going on here? <laughs> oh my, my drunk ass uncle walked in. Okay, awesome. It's all good. Because we're all like talking and stuff, and then I hear my door open, so I take out my earbud and I turn around, and it's my uncle, and he's standing at the door, and he's about to say something. Like he took a deep breath, like he's gonna say something really loud, and I just put my finger up to my to my mouth, like like the quiet sign, and he he like froze, and I put the thing on mute, and he yelled, and it was so funny. Uh, anyways, but I'm back now. I'm back now. Don't don't worry about it. Yeah, I digress. <laughs> I digress. I digress, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is that is the word we use in recoil. We all advocate that use. I digress. I digress. Yes. But, uh, I yeah. I uh, see. I I've I've been hearing a lot of people use that word "boring" to describe Black Ops, and I just I don't um I don't I don't I don't get it. I guess. Cause, I guess you're saying because of the kill streaks, but oh, I can I know why it's boring. I mean, I, I have fun when I play it, but 
you know, sometimes it gets to the point where, where again, the lag or the hit detection, whatever, it, it really pisses me off and I have to stop. But when I am playing, you know, I, I have fun. I don't, I don't think it's that boring. I so. think Black Ops is boring because it's so repetitive. Like, I don't think it's like, oh, my God, it's so boring, I can't play it. But it is pretty repetitive to the point where if you, you know, if you prestige, it's the same thing over and over again. You know, you use the, the FAMAS until you lock the AK-47, or the AK-74U, you unlock what, what, the Galil, and it's like you use the same guns to level up, and that's how it gets repetitive to me. That's, that's why. See, instead of using those weapons, you just need to use uh, uh, the RPG the entire time. <laughs> you know, just level, up, just level up like that. I used to use the RPG like a lot when uh, Black Ops first came out, and it's like you you have to directly hit them with the RPG for it to kill them. So I was like, man, you just got RPG, like get fucking bitch slapped. No, I got a quad like, RPG. Using the fun way. You don't use them the fun way. What I do, I put on a flag jacket whenever I sound whore this guy coming around the corner. Pull out that RPG, boom! <laughs> Suicide bomber, UAV acquired. <laughs> That's oh, oh yeah, I just have to say it right now. Good job, Ice Cube, for doing the voice. You're, you're a lot better than 50 Cent's lazy ass who didn't want to do that. So good job. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Destroy the objective. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's like, I, I will. It's <laughs> like, man, I, I got to do it. Ice Cube just told me to do that. We finna lose <laughs> this fight. We can <laughs> dominate it. It's like, oh, shit, you right, man. I I'm sorry, Ice my Cube. Ass. I'm sorry, I'm working on it. <laughs> Ice Cube. Uh, that was real good is... uh. Is Ice Cube in this podcast right now? I, I told him <laughs> his impersonation of Ice Cube uh, sounds pretty good. No, that's that's my drunk uncle, actually. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what's what's the time, Shex? Because uh, I got to get going soon, man. It's eight fifty six. Well, yeah, I know that. I have a clock too, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about uh, the podcast. I'll be able to the do podcast it. has been running for at least a good. Yeah, I think we've been on for 40 minutes. 40 minutes? All right. Yeah. I, I, I say we, we, we do another 10 minutes. All right. All right I'm well, let's get, in, let's get into this one, the Mark Twain. <laughs> um, for, for anybody who doesn't know, um, basically, in the 2000 releases of Mark Twain's Huckleberry Finn book, for anybody who God knows still actually reading Huckleberry <laughs> Finn in 2011, when the book came out in 1930, but I digress, um, they're censoring the word out of the n-word and they're replacing the n-word with the word slave for some character named uh tom or john i forget what it was but uh, yeah now he's now he's known as the slave and basically a lot of people are upset about this because it's pretty much taking the first amendment out and it's kind of destroying american literature because there's no freedom of speech and so you don't know what the uh, first amendment is somebody elaborate oh the first amendment is the right to say what you want, basically. Well, not in school. You can't. You, you can't go to your teacher and call her a bitch. That's not the First Amendment. You can't. <laughs> well, no, yeah, yeah, you can. You can't be arrested for that. Oh yeah, you. You'll, you'll get probably trouble. get it suspended or something. <laughs> but no, but you'll not, just get a referral. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I mean, at my school. No. Let's let's just not get into that. <laughs> well, my just, school is a different thing. Like when I was in seventh grade, people were taking bottles of uh, Gatorade, quote-unquote, filling it with, like, vodka and getting wasted. I remember these kids got caught. It was wow. the funniest thing. They were, like, throwing up everywhere. It was so funny. How did they get away with that? I mean, they just bring a Gatorade <laughs> bottle full of vodka, sit, there, sit out there at lunch and, you know, get their drink on in seventh grade. <laughs> they go to class and they're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I'm, like, throwing up everywhere. Like, you're going to get sent to the <laughs> office. You know, or like, I don't know. They're probably retarded Same enough boy. to go to the nurse and say, "Nurse, I'm not feeling good." My, my logic is, why would you want to get drunk during school? Well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're, I mean, they were like in seventh grade, so. In seventh, what are you? Why do you do anything? They're, why they're, do they're not educated. Yet, they don't know what the true use of alcohol <laughs> is yet, and I won't get into that. But I will say, drink <laughs> responsibility. Drink <laughs> responsibility. I, I follow. I follow Captain Morgan on Twitter. <laughs> I followed Captain Morgan. He taught me my ways. <laughs> but, uh, oh, um, in regards to the topic, this, I don't know if you guys have ever read uh, 1984, but that's what they do in that book. Like, basically, what. 
I'm sorry, what? I have to cut you off here. 1984 is what my uh, marching band thing was about. Negative yep. Utopia. Big Brother is watching you in Winston Secret. Well, in that in that book, what in that story, what they um, what Big Brother or that or what that government does is they start eliminating words from the uh, from the English language so people can't they can't express themselves because their language is limited and this is and they start censoring stuff they start rewriting uh history by changing and editing books and this is that what you what you said mr red reminds me of that you know we start mm -hmm. rewriting books from the past or editing them or you know those books were published back then as far as you know my opinion they're done you know what's what else do we need to add to these books these stories are there they're set in time they've been published for years and years and years if we start editing now you know it's like we're changing history you know yeah, yeah. that's what I, that's what i primarily don't like is that bill basically what you just said we're changing history by rebucking those kind of things like we're, we're doing to repeat the history if we don't learn from it of course so yeah we have history so we don't do it again and and then um uh, the fact that you're changing like you're changing a word that obviously has a lot of der derogatory connotations and and all that um to appease some some i do i don't even know i haven't even heard of that but what exactly i mean who who decide who made that decision to change it do you know oh it's basically something that happened over with the government well it sounds like somebody got butt hurt and <laughs> But it's you know, real. I mean, there's no other reason to change it because somebody was too sensitive, or, or some politician's uh, sensibilities were offended, and it seems like, you know, that's what 1984 basically boils down to: censorship and limiting people's thoughts and expression. So, I don't know. That's my opinion. Well, then you like now you can you, you can even think about the Truman effect. Of the whole thing and thing, well, maybe it's even possible for our generation that someone in our previous generation censored something out that we don't even much know about now. Like exactly. Good See, story, I guess. <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah, that's a really good example. Like we might have actually grew up with something, and we're actually totally blind to something because they they obliterated from history, and now we move on. I know that actually does happen. Like, um. I know this one case scenario, there's this organization that goes around my campus and they there's a bad part of their history, which I won't get into, even though nobody would probably know anyway, but I digress. Um, <laughs> they're basically saying they're not going to tell anybody that, that decides to be in this organization anymore of what happened, period. So any new members are not told of what happens. And it's just like, well, wow, you just pretty much just cut like a solid piece of your yeah. history and you're not going to tell anybody else until pretty much all the old people die and it goes <laughs> away. That's basically what just happened. And just to think about that happening in American culture and think about how it previously happens, well, I'm pretty sure it happens a lot of times. It's just kind of like mind-boggling of why you wouldn't want to have people learn from these kind of things. It's sad. Yeah. yeah. Um. No old's gonna happen then. Uh, if, well, that's never gonna happen. But I'm saying, because there's still those racist fools out there. We've got them skinheads. Yeah. yeah. That that's ne that's never gonna end, man. Like I. That's why I don't believe in things like world peace or, or you know, racism's never gonna stop because as long as somebody has, has something different. Huh. As long as somebody has an opinion. As long as an opinion or, or if, you know, if somebody has a different hair color, you're always, there's always going to be people out there finding things to hate about somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, it, gingers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, skin color can be easily interchangeable with somebody's hairstyle. You know, it's even if we all look the same and somebody decided to style their hair a different way, I'm sure somebody's going to hate that person and everybody who styles their hair that way. So racism is never – I don't think it will ever uh, – It'll ever die. It might be just, um, I don't know, shuffled off into some dark corner. But I don't think it'll ever die. Just because we're all so different, um, mm -hmm. and we're never, we're never gonna be the same. So, yeah. Maybe Good point. point. It'll, it'll probably just, yeah, like you said, racism. Period. It'll probably just end up reciting that along with prejudice. And a lot of people, um, you'll see it commonly that people only find things racism racist when it's directed towards them but at the same token when it's not but when it's due to another race it's fine 
which you see you see actually a commonly a lot among culture that people won't find something racist unless it has something to do with them so i digress <laughs> it's really a deep topic <laughs> it really is it's not something that it's something that you stew on when you're on the toilet and then you just kind of just stuck there for a while yeah here here on recoil we we try to keep it uh kiddie pool deep so yeah we keep it very kiddie pool because you know i, I gotta I got to wake up one day to know that my children will listen to Recoil, and I'll be like, that was your old man right there. That, that is what he used to do. <laughs> used to do? I'm going to be doing this till I'm 70. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, Recoil is never going to die. Just my, vo- die. my voice is just going to get deeper, and I'm probably going to smell like cottage cheese. But <laughs> Recoil will not die. Oh, yeah. And that, that's why I can't stand being around old people, man. Like, why, why do they smell that way? What's up? <laughs> That is a very valid question. I, I've been in what hospitals a lot of time, and I just don't know where that smell origins from. I think it's not even from, like, the hospital beds or, like, medicine. It's just home-brewed from <laughs> uh, – oh, 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 yeah, this is disgusting. Never mind. Yeah. It's just home-brewed. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it to the imagination of the viewers. I'm allowing that. food that they eat, the prunes and stuff. Well, I, I actually ate some of their food when I, when I went over there to volunteer f- for a few years, and – from their little pudding and angel snacks and all that stuff. I mean, I myself don't think I smell like old people. Well, I smell like old people after a while. After when I left, I, I regained my conscious smell. I don't know. I guess you can almost relate it to how a bunch of women having their periods at the same time when they oh hang out gosh. with each other. Oh, that's yeah, disgusting. It's Come valid. I, I, I have to make one comment about this. When I was in sixth grade, Uh-oh. this girl spilled in the middle of class. Oh, I don't want you ever to mention that ever again. (laughs) Why? And you just took it. I I, I just ruined it. You took it to a whole nother level (laughs) of nastiness. That's like me playing Wii. I I want you to sit in the corner now and think about what you did. I know what I did. You're the one who brought it up in the first place, son. Well, my penis is bigger than yours. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. I don't know. I was looking for a joke, but that's the first thing that came out. I'm allowed that. I'm allowed one, people. Give me one. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you one. Good I think, stuff. Uh, Shax, yep. what's the time, man? You're the timekeeper. It's time to go. It's time to go? All right. Well, I would like to thank everyone, as usual, for listening to Recoil Podcast. Well, hopefully, we'll have that, that up for Podbean, but as usual, it'll be on a YouTube channel of ours. I'll probably be uploading it myself since I have a copy. So I'll put it on my channel as well, as long with anyone else. I'm Princess gonna, Mert. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm working on a video to uh, to help promote it, so that'll be out soon. Go look Just out saying. for that. Ricky Chops is the fucking man. You subscribe to him. That's like <laughs> that's like every time I see Ricky Chops in my subscription box, that's like live sex right there. It's like Christmas, man. <laughs> it's like it's like what oh, the hell? Yeah. That's Ricky Chops. That's you, Ricky oh stop! Chop. Oh stop! Ricky, you're gonna need to start putting trailers out for your videos. I'm like, saying. <laughs> that was crazy. I, I went on the channel. I went on the cookie cookie cutter thing, and then I saw one of your keyboard destroys. So I was like, "What the fuck is this? I've never seen this." It was just like one of those rare Pokemon cards that, like, it's like the Golden Charizard that everybody tried to collect. It's like, what the hell is this? And I made it mine, and I enjoyed it. I liked it. I know I could, if I could give it five stars, I would, but I can't. Oh, anyway, man. I digress. Oh, I'm going I'm to hop off your penis now. I digress. Uh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Princess Murder, thank you. Thank you so much for your time today. You're, you're a great host. Uh, hostess. Host, oh, I'm sorry. Hostess. <laughs> yes, whatever. I, I, I recommend everybody go to their channel. If you have not, if you haven't, I don't know what you've been missing. She's the only female <laughs> gamer that I actually listen to my, myself. Oh, okay. I, I don't really listen to anybody else, particularly because I don't know anyone else, but you're cooler. So thank I go you. with that. All right, I'm I'm gonna go next. The bacon <laughs> intro is amazing. That was that's that's changing it up. All right, this, this is Call of Duty Revolution. We all got to do something different to get bigger out there. Yeah, people don't like how I play on my woman's side though, but that's a different story. <laughs> no, that joke was fun. I remember I was watching her zombie vid. And she's like, she likes it's like, oh, I forgot, I forgot what kind of character you got, and he's like. Oh yeah! Oh baby, <laughs> JFK. Oh, baby, yep. JFK. Yep. Oh, JFK. <laughs> yeah. Get out oh, of my baby. Purse. <laughs> Get out that my video purse. was funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm planning to do more of them, actually. Do it. 
They just take, it took me like two hours to put subtitles on that video. Yeah, th that's what I just did in my new video. Like, I, I, I was like, the language of champions, straight <laughs> up, sub, like, just titles, every, it, it's confusing. It takes so long. But it's worth it. I, I really, really it. like how it came out. Yeah, it's to the comedic value. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ricky Chops, my man, your outro. Go and preach it. Man, you know I don't have a real outro. I just say shit that comes to my mind. I'm going to go eat a sandwich. So I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> He's eating a sandwich. All lettuce, no mayonnaise. <laughs> some, some bacon, some bacon. Some bacon. You got you a BLT. That sounds freaking delicious right now. And, and I don't do I do not do like two or three strips. I do like seven. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh if you're not going to go all in with the bacon, there's no point. Exactly. So like KFC <laughs> I sound like a complete badass, so I'm gonna go. All right. <laughs> that is podcast number four. Oh, you had that's that's your outro, Shex? Oh, <laughs> I already <laughs> said mine. Okay, well, fine. This is your We're boy. We're still Mr. going. I'm, I'm <laughs> signing out right now, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you didn't, then you're probably deaf. And <gasps> to my deaf viewers, I'm sorry for that. I know you enjoy my videos, so enjoy this. <laughs> what the fuck? What's is that there a doctor? What was that? I think it's the the whale trying to breathe or something. <laughs> oh, the shampoo. Yeah. Shampoo. <laughs> well, yeah, it's your boy, Mr. Red, signing out. And peace. McCoyle 4. <laughs> there we go.